This is News Trail, your daily dose. It's Wednesday, 16th August 2023. Welcome to News Trail. I am Adetola Kayode. President Bola Tinubu says despite the current realities in the foreign exchange market, there won't be any increase in pump price of petrol anywhere in the country, as been speculated. The president gave this assurance while advising stakeholders, especially the organized labor, to ensure they carry out due diligence before issuing threats that can heat up the polity. President Tinubu's spokesperson, Ajurin Gilali, also expressed the president's determination to maintain competitive tension towards clearing up all the logs across the upstream and downstream value chains. President Tinubu therefore called for calm amongst Nigerians, assuring that the positive impact of the deregulation regime will soon be evident to all. The House of Representatives at Dock Committee on Students' Loan has called for a 3% increase as against the 1% students' loan from revenue generated annually as proposed by President Bola Hamid Tinubu. Chairman of the Ad Hoc Committee, Honorable Tessi Ubo, says the amendment will enable easy accessibility for students in tertiary institutions. He called for a realistic time frame for the loan program when the Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Education, David Adejo, and a team from Central Bank of Nigeria appeared at the hearing. Adejo assured that the student's loan program is achievable, but it depends on the pace of the federal government. The loan program which is said to be technologically driven and a synergy with the Joint Admissions and Matriculation Board JAM will be required for easy identification of students. The federal government has applied to withdraw the charge of illegal possession of firearms filed against the suspended governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Emefiele. It thereafter filed a 20-count charge of alleged sundry offenses against the suspended CBN governor at the Federal High Court in Abuja. A director of public prosecutions at the Federal Ministry of Justice, Mohamed Abubakar, told Justice Nicholas Owebo in Lagos that the application to withdraw followed to the outcome of a continued probe of the embattled banker. But Emefiele's lawyer, Joseph Daudu SEN, opposed him, arguing that the government is in disobedience of the court's July 25 order granting the defendant bail. Thus, its application could not be taken. Justice Awebo adjourned till Thursday for the ruling. Clashes between rival militias in the Libyan capital have left residents trapped in their homes, unable to escape the violence in what appears to be the most intense fighting to rock Tripoli this year. Local media say fighting broke out between the 444 Brigade and the Special Deterrence Force late Monday evening. Tensions flared after the head of the 444 Brigade was allegedly detained by the other force at an airport in Tripoli earlier on Monday. The health ministry urged the warring sides to allow ambulance and emergency teams to enter the affected areas, primarily in the southern city, and for blood to be sent to nearby hospitals. Libya's Red Crescent did not immediately respond respond to a request for comment. Reports say at least two people have been killed and over 30 injured. And that's it on News Trail for today. Many thanks for connecting. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel News Trail. Have a fantastic day ahead.